Carrie? I don't think I've heard that. It's pretty simple. I will say, D. Snyder's um, makeup is only slightly worse than Mariah Carey's. You think that we could get Magic to play this? I'm wondering if they play any kind of mashups or any songs down there that kind of you give it a wink and a nod. No, the they're Christmas too scared. Pun. Those PDs, they're too scared. But if we get Pound Cake to go in there, he'll play it because he's not afraid of authority. Yo, yo, <laughs> I ain't afraid of no Santa Claus. He's the Christmas authority. What they gonna do? Y'all can't afford to lose me. You can't afford to lose me. I'm a black. You That's guys can't right. get rid of me. <laughs> a black. You're a black mark on my show is what you are. But it's still You black. can't afford to lose me. <laughs> That's right. On paper. It uh, look good on paper. Half black. Yeah. Can I fire half of you? I'll fire the white half of you. How about that? Then it feels better than checking that box. Ethnicity black. (laughs) (laughs) All the privileges that it affords me. Oh, yeah. Black people are living it up. Sure. They're killing it. Well done. I'll be in this bitch like, I'm not going to take it because you can't fire me. Eh, Well, anyway, there you go. It's courtesy of the uh, There I Ruined It people. So, uh, Cavaliers uh, play tonight. All of your coverage begins at 6.30, right after we roll out of here uh, tonight on MMS, and then tip off in Washington against Gilbert Arenas and the Washington Wizards at mm-hmm. 7 o'clock tonight. Who do they have, Kyle Kuzma? Yeah, they do have Kuzma. On the Wizards? Yeah, Kuzma, Bradley Beal. There you uh, go. And the, the uh, who's the dude with all the names? Oh, they got the... Uh, um, Caldwell Pope. Contavious Caldwell yeah, Pope. Caldwell Pope. And the Washington Wizards, who are a good team this year. That's yeah, not always are. the case. Same thing with the Cavaliers. Not always the case, but they, they're a good team this year, too. They made out better than the Lakers did in that trade for Russell Westbrook. Mm-hmm. I thought the Lakers were going to be the super team, and they're struggling. And then the all the pieces that they got from the Lakers, they're, they're, they're clicking, and they're playing really well. Speaking of whom, LeBron is going to be playing again, because they said that his positive uh, COVID test was a false positive. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, oh, come on. A false positive. A false uh-huh. positive. Look at this. He, he took another to one. Yeah, it does nice. happen. Yeah. Does Someone happen. else was like, breathe on this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they was like, it's negative. Give Great. me some of your droplets. And LeBron said, you can't fire me. I'm a black. <clears throat> they can't afford to lose him. They can't, well, they can't afford to lose him. Not That's LeBron, right. No. Not LeBron James. So 7 o'clock tonight is your tip-off. Cavs, Wizards in D.C. on WMMS and on the uh, iHeartRadio app, for those of you who uh, want to use that. Alan, you were talking about Dr. Oz running for Senate. They have to take his television show off in Cleveland. You know what? I, and I'm sure we've uh, covered this. I completely forgot that Dr. Oz is from Cleveland. He is? He's a Cleveland native, yes. Oh, I didn't know his, that. His like, uh, parents are Lebanese or something, but uh, yeah, he was uh, born and raised in Cleveland. Oh, neat. But because he's running for Senate in Pennsylvania, um, they have to take his show off here because the signal bleeds a little bit. They air it over on Fox 8, and so they're removing something having to do with if you're running for public office, you can't have... A public media forum, you know, like these talk radio hosts. Because mm-hmm. you have to give equal time. Well, I don't think equal time is a thing. Equal time provisions aren't a thing anymore. They used really? to be. Yeah, they used to be, and that's where they. <laughs> no, not Reagan guy. Like, no, no, no. <clears throat> yeah, of course. That, that's why. That's why they don't have. Um, I mean, you know, back in the day when Fox News pretended that they kind of had a. And they were Fair trying and to balance. Right. Well, I go. It, they had poor Alan Combs over there sitting next to Hannity. And they're uh, like, yeah, this guy's a load. Well, I'm thinking about as far as like advertisements. When you talk about a candidate, that's not necessarily an advertisement or endorsement. But as far as like commercials go, I thought that still was in place. Like you have to get that might time. be. I don't know. I think that's like a law as far as. Well, you have to. All it is is that you have the only law is that you have to provide an equal opportunity for a candidate to be heard if they request it. 
Yeah. Well, you can't tell them that they can't, but they don't have to provide it on their own. Well, I'm just saying, like, if Hillary... You might, you, you might have noticed a distinct lack of uh, progressive commentary on right-wing radio. Sure, but I was thinking about, like, when, it, it, when Hillary was running, if she wanted to have her commercial played on Fox News, like, they had to play it, right? Well, but that's because they're that's because they're buying airtime. Okay. Anybody they'll play anything if they buy the airtime. But it's Hillary Clinton. So and, what? And that would turn off their fan base. They're like, I don't want to see that bitch in my. Well, then commercial. they can. <laughs> you know how they are. I know the people who watch a lot of Fox News don't realize they can turn off Fox News, but you can turn off Fox News if there's something you don't like. Ah, you're making me turn the channel because you got. The, they call her the bitch. <laughs> like, is that's her name? And yeah, Edie Falco finally sh- to the part in uh, the crime impeachment story on FX where Edie Falco shows up. Episode six, <laughs> when they when they get it, when the Lewinsky thing goes public. Yeah, Carmela Soprano plays. Uh, Isn't it amazing how? I mean, I don't know what training she did to prepare for this role as far as shadowing Hillary because I doubt that happened. But if that really how it was where she just sat down and got into lawyer mode when she's talking about the affair that her husband has she's like all right so now we gotta discredit her like it, woman to woman i'm like wow she she can decompartmentalize is that the right term not decompartmentalize she can compartmentalize. compartmentalize um like her husband versus being a lawyer and she's like Oh, we're just going to discredit her. We're going to look into her past. We're going to call her a whore. <laughs> we're going to call her. That's like, what politics okay. is. That's oh, why. That's, that's her husband. That, you, but anybody who thinks they're going to get into politics to stay clean, hey. it's like that's what it is, man. You make that. Uh, and you know she's not lying. That's the trade off you're making. <laughs> we're going to call her a bitch. We're going to call her a whore. <laughs> we're going to discredit her, and hopefully she commits suicide. <laughs> like, oh my god. Well, I mean, your husband is the president of the United States, and he can't keep it in his pants. So he wasn't you know. the, always the president. He had a life before. Yeah, those were yeah, the women still, who were coming when he was governor of Arkansas. Still that's trying what, to keep it in his pants. Right. Those were the women that were coming out. Yeah. These weren't women. They these weren't women who were coming out to accuse him of something while he was president. They were digging up from when he was governor of Arkansas. I just well, why can okay go ahead. I just don't understand why that is important though. Like if someone was a womanizer in high school, why is that important about running the country? They're just digging for stuff. They're looking for something. Well, because it comes down to if there was an abuse of power, obviously the other side, politically, no matter what side you're on, the other side is going to want to try to destroy your credibility and your chances for future political office and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but like, that's just what that is. But if you can, you know, if it's if a lawsuit comes about that, that shows a abuse of power. Now, obviously, things are different now because those things people laugh when those things come up now. Abuse of power. Well, I mean, Trump had 25 women file lawsuits against him, and nothing happened. Any, you know, one by one, they dropped him, or he just, still you know, going. bleed him dry. Huh? They're still going. Not all of them. Summer Zervos just dropped hers after like 10 years or something, I think. So, you know, th- I think that stuff is looked at as quaint now. But in the early 90s, and there were a lot of people who just wanted to get Clinton. They were just champing at the bit to get Clinton for anything. Because he was fantastic. Well, because he, he was a Democrat. They didn't want, they didn't want any Democrat in the White House. And he gave them. I mean, that's the thing is these guys shoot themselves in the foot. He gave them the a stuff lot, to yeah. hang. I mean, a lot. Yes. A lot. That's why Obama had to be squeaky, goddamn clean yeah, for that's, eight that's years. That's why with Obama, they're like eight this tan years. suit and this fancy mustard. Yes. Hmm, not the, my president. When you get to tan suit and fancy mustard, that's, you know there's nothing there. That's why I don't understand how how. Could he be so clean? Like, even if you're the cleanest person, they have plants in there just to disrupt. Like, they, they'll, you, you act like they don't make up lies about people. Like, I don't understand how he was so clean. They can dig up to his, they, they can go to his college. They can go to his past teachers. He wasn't perfect his whole life. The, the closest thing I heard about, he smoked pie. He did like a line of coke one time. That was it. Yeah, and that's, I mean, he... He can't be perfect his whole life, so that just means he's good at shutting people up. That's that's what I took from that. No, I mean, there are people that just don't cheat on their wives. I did, I'm not even going in as far as, like, the cheating. I'm just saying he done did something hinky, like, in college, there's been some drunken nights. Um, he, yeah, but that's... The, those aren't things that are going to get you pinched anymore. Nobody was bringing a lawsuit against Bill Clinton because he smoked pot in college. They were bringing lawsuits against him because he wanted a woman to kiss his wiener when he was the governor. <laughs> oh, God. You kiss it? You're Very sitting crooked there. wiener. Oh, God. And she said it was small. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Jesus. Just the, the, the indignities that you have to subject yourself and your family to if you're running for that level of office. You better make sure, you know, listen, politics is nothing, well, it used to be nothing but compromise, but, you know, you, you'll end up compromising so much of yourself, you know, just to get things done. And if other people can cast those compromises in a variety of ways, then that can then really hurt you. But the more that, you know, uh, the more that time goes on, those uh, same offenses aren't that big of a deal anymore. I mean the, the the asking a lady to kiss your wiener that's always <laughs> that's always yeah, that, <laughs> that's going to be a thing especially as the governor. Right. But you know if when George W Bush goes, "Yeah, I did some cocaine." It's not a thing anymore. For Clinton it was like, "I inha- I smoked but I didn't, didn't inhale. inhale yeah. I didn't inhale." Cuz 30 years ago people oh, all the pearl clutchers. Now we've moved so far <laughs> past that. I the people wait. are like, yeah, so I did heroin in grad school. Who cares? <laughs> well, the Browns won the Super Bowl, so I smoked some crack. I said that was what I was going right. to do. I can't wait. Uh, and that's what Councilman Bill Squire <laughs> will continue to do. Smoke crack at every Browns victory. Every Browns Super Bowl Nope, victory. every Browns victory. Nope. Councilman nope. Bill Squire will smoke crack. I can't wait for the first gay that scandal. The taxpayers will pay for. <laughs> you can't wait what? To the first gay scandal in the White House. That's just how white folks will do you. Well, I'm sure there have been some, but they've been covered up. I don't know. In turn, Jeremy was there with President whatever, and he, he was the one with the knee pads in the Oval Office. <laughs> or something happened in college. It was like it would. I, I would love to see how they spin it. I just want to know from like a PR standpoint. There's people that are like, I've been waiting for this. I'm going to cover this up for the president. Um, it, you know how Trump said, "Oh, it was locker room talk." Well, this was. It was a frat initiation. I did not mm-hmm. sign a document willingly. You know when you, you do things in college to make friends. Now it was a frat <laughs> initiation. I didn't know what it was. My eyes were closed. That's a hell of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes were closed, and I trusted the person. I got some pretty good friends, and they are like, "Well, you want to be friends, don't you?" That's right. This is why I don't have friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you've got it all figured out there, young pound cake. Got it all figured out put there. Put me on a PR team. Have put you me. ever... Please do not put him on anyone's PR please. team, all right? I just want to know stuff. Okay. If you need somebody for... If you need... <laughs> he unless doesn't do it to help anybody. He just wants secrets. Right. Yes. He just I'm wants like, the hot goss. Unless, just, it's, <laughs> unless it stands for penis relations. Yeah. But you're paying me. It's li- I am paid to legally keep secrets, which I can't imagine a better job. I'm paid to shut up. <laughs> like, you're actually not paid to shut up. You're paid to spin things if you're public relations. Yes. Are you good at spinning things? Yeah. So you're working for some kind of uh, public figure. Mm-hmm. And they have been caught in an untoward situation. Uh, this is a male, let's say politician, because that's where a lot of these things, since we're talking about that. So you are the PR person. You're the press secretary. Mm-hmm. Let's give them the... the for Justin Bibb, let's say you are okay. Justin, Justin Bibb, and I'm just using him as a current example. I don't know anything <laughs> I don't, about. I don't want to get in trouble with him. No, no, no. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> why don't we just go with the the a Clinton, made up politician? No, no. The the Clinton situation, and then Powell Case got to spin it about. How do you spin Monica Lewinsky? Uh, I was gonna say spin uh, the, Paula Jones. Paula Jones uh, asking to kiss his wiener. <laughs> well, actually, he didn't really ask her to kiss it. Uh, she was. Uh, like, nope. So he pulled it out. I, you guys didn't let me finish. See, oh, I'm sorry. Fake Go ahead. media cutting me off before I, w- I had my explanation. He didn't ask her to kiss it. That never happened. She was a valued employee at that company. He called her up there because he heard that her relative was good in the medical field, and he had a pimple on the tip of it, and he asked her to look at it to see if he should get it checked out. But she's not a medical professional. She's not, but he wanted to refer her. She wanted He wanted her to refer him to a good medical So person. why would um, he need to show it to her if he was just asking her for a to referral? To call her cousin to... But why would he need to show her his penis to get a phone number from her? Because she was that valued Was it employee. a pimple? She's not a medical professional. <laughs> she was a valued employee. A valued employee? What does that have what to do with anything? anything? Because she felt like... <laughs> he's an awful PR person. <laughs> he can't do it. He can't do it. That's terrible, terrible spin. Yeah. What's the number one rule? Deny, deny, deny. deny, deny. deny. Right? Trump perfected it. Yeah. He'll tell you something you know is true and tell you it's a lie. He will look at you and go, nope. You go. I just, it's the shaggy defense. I saw, I caught you on the counter. I caught you in the bathroom. One me. Yeah, you say, that never happened. She was in the room, but he never pulled it out. He never 
asked her to kiss it. None of that ever happened. These are things that people will say when you're a man in power to try and discredit you and try and uh, take you down. Did he ever ask her to snuggle it? <laughs> just get a little snug, snug. <laughs> just, just snuggle up against it. Did he ever ask her to give it a wayward glance? Did he ever ask her to bat her eyelashes at it? Did he ever ask her to wave at it? <laughs> Could you give it three pumps? <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever ask her to judge the length and girth of it? <laughs> Did he ever, what's the male equivalent? Uh, the male equivalent of getting motorboated? <laughs> <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Yeah. So pound cake uh, in his uh, apparently he wants to be a fixer for someone, and that then he's off to a bad start. Well, I can intern first. I don't have to just dive right in. Intern. To start making announce announcements. This is uh, Cody. He's our fixer intern. <laughs> He's going to job shadow the guy who goes out there and breaks kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. So you want to do one big swing with the baton or a bunch of tiny ones? How do you want to? <laughs> I'll be the guy in the car looking out, you know, with the gun, with the window just halfway up, just, just enough to see my eyes. Taking <laughs> notes. Like, yeah, He's like a little Kilroy was here. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so one big swing across the Good hit, sir. I see. Good. Well done, sir. He's got a he's got a I pad of paper and a pen. He's furiously writing notes. Pound cake trying to take the big swing, but he like as he's like winds up, it flies out of his hand. Yep. Good hit, sir. Hit something behind him. Just uh... mm. Nah, I'd be I'd be good. I'd take the initiative. The fact I'm like, I hope you do. Listen, I, I want nothing but success for you, and uh, if it's not going to happen in this business, it might as well happen in another one. Spin the uh, the cookie situation that started off the show. What cookie situation? Where you were eating? You the cookie. stuffed your mouth you st- like a goddamn chipmunk when I looked at you. What? what? As the I mi- don't remember this. It, uh, Bill. Am I? Am I in another universe here? Bill has cameras set up all around this studio. Oh, how, I see what he's doing. How I has he not? How, what, so you videotape everything? You videotape me in here? Uh, picking I my video, nose? I and, videotape and, when you are speaking. So if you're not speaking, I do not have the camera on you. Well, whose fault is that? I didn't say it was anybody's fault. So what's wrong with me eating a cookie? There's nothing wrong with you eating a cookie. We were trying to figure out why you were eating it right when but the I microphone... But I wasn't. So I'm just saying, if I was, what, what would be Alan the problem? Alan saw you I saw you with my own eyes. Are you trying to discredit? Are you calling you, me a liar? Are you calling Alan a liar? Yeah, I am. <laughs> this is what they do to people that have no power, and All you're right. trying to abuse your power and try to make me look bad like I'm not good at my I'm not job. abusing my power. I said, why were you eating a cookie? And you were eating a cookie. I wasn't eating a cookie. There are crumbs on your counter that I can see right now. Well, far as I know... Because in addition to being a sloppy eater, you're also messy and you don't clean up after we yourself. We do also have an uh, audio recording of you admitting to eating the cookie. Yes, I have you on tape. Well, I was going through a really rough time. <laughs> <laughs> And I was influenced. <laughs> thirty minutes, ago, thirty minutes job. ago, I was going through a really I rough was influenced time. Influenced by Big Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh. said yourself, did you not? That's on audio. That there is no other places to eat in this building. So if I wanted to eat a cookie, which I wasn't, I, I never said there are another. Weren't. I never said there are no other there are places. No to other places to eat. There's no. I never tables, said that. There's no place to have lunch. I never said that. So someone who wanted to come in here and eat a cookie, which it wasn't me, if they wanted to, I could understand. You just understand. said you were eating a cookie. I, so you were or you weren't, because you've contradicted yourself now. Play the audio. No, I don't need to. I know what the audio says. I need the audio. You've contradicted yourself in two audio sources now. I don't remember that. We have other audio of previous cases, such as the gummy worm incident. Yeah, Mr. Brown, I'm, I'm so, afraid this is not going to go well for you. Precedent has been set. I think perhaps... Uh, you should uh, get yourself some counsel. President hasn't been set. It's Joe Biden. We already had this settled. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> he might have a future ahead of him. I don't know. It's not that he makes sense. It's that he confuses. He he says so many things that don't make sense. That's why he's a Trump guy. He says so many things that make no sense that your brain explodes trying to follow all of the threads that are going in a million different directions. Whose fault is that? You guys should have a bigger brain. Your fault. <laughs> you should have a bigger, bigger brain. brain. <laughs> He's got uh, big balls. I'll give him that. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Good mm-hmm. job, bud. You got a future in front of you. I have to take a break. If you want to text for anything, 35192, alancockshow.com. You can get us there. 
And you can listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox 